Warning, the outcome of this video will result in you drawing closest to Allah and improving your religion. Viewer discretion is advised. Every time that you remember this person, make a dua for them. Ask Allah to bless them and forgive them and to guide them and to purify them because the angels will be making that same dua for you. So if you still miss your ex, that's totally normal. Understand that that's a normal process of the grievance. You might not even have closure. So instead of looking for closure and all that sort of stuff, turn this worry into worship. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, so grateful, thanks for humbled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thank you for watching my video. Mashallah, good job. Bye. Also, before we get into this video right now, quick plug in merch is being printed today. I'm going to preview that for you in tomorrow's video. So now enjoy the video. I still miss my ex. Now, before we jump into this, right, just know that this video title has two meanings. All my video titles have nearly two meanings. The first meaning is that I still mix, miss my mix my ex, miss my ex, right? Which is between me and Allah is whether I feel that way or not. Allah alam with that and leave that between me and Allah. Second meaning is that it is personalized to you out there who is watching this video that I still miss my ex, meaning that you are someone who still misses their ex. So just know that uh, my titles are a little deep, you know what I mean? So uh, don't, don't get too caught up on that, but that's what essentially it means. I thought I should clarify that before I get into this video. Now, I'm still someone who misses their ex, you're still someone who misses their ex, uh, whatever that might be, but just know that missing your ex is very normal. Missing your ex is very normal. And I want to validate that feeling. This video is not going to be about, oh, it's haram. You know, and this is like a punishment from Allah to atone for your sins. That's not what this video is going to be about. If you're someone who's missing their ex, that's the last thing that you want to hear. You know it was wrong. You know what you were supposed to do, what you weren't supposed to do. Like, that's not what this video is about. This video is about validating your feeling as to, you know, it's okay to miss your ex and why you're missing your ex. As you could tell, I'm in a lot more comfortable mode today. My wife has gone to the dentist, so I'm doing a little more dad duty right now. My children are on the deck right now, so they're doing stuff. And inshallah, this time around, I am going to call them. I am going to call them for uh, my outro or something like that, inshallah. Intro. Intro, okay. Okay, inshallah. I got you, not yet though. Yeah, the cat is going to work. That's fine, leave the cat there. And then it's going up, up, and then I'm... Inshallah, no problem. Okay, let me finish this video though. Okay? okay? Then I'll call you. Then I'll call you. <laughs> They're back, okay? As you can hear in the background, okay? Daddy, Missing... The kitty's down there, Mary John. What is Daddy doing right now? So what does that mean you should do? L leave Daddy alone, Okay? Missing your ex, <laughs> you're like, SQ, when are we going to get into the video? Missing your ex is very normal. Missing your ex is a very normal thing to experience and to feel. Think about this. You were, let's suppose, I'm going to give a round number. I'm going to give you a number and we're going to play with that number. Okay, I'm going to say six months. Even though some of you have been with each other for a year, year and a half, two years, and you still didn't get married, that's a different video that we can talk about. Okay, but let's, let's just say six months. Six months of speaking to a person daily on the phone. Six months of texting someone daily on the phone. You know, that good morning text. Doesn't it feel good? Say it's not the truth. Getting good morning texts from your bae. Doesn't that doesn't feel nice? Someone saying good morning, someone wishing you a good morning, have a beautiful, blessed day. Someone checking up you in the morning or you checking up on them. Doesn't that feel nice? That's gone. That's gone. Now you're traveling, you see that shop that you guys went to. Oh, remember we got that donor kebab together? By the way, donor kebabs are super overrated, okay? And they smell. They, I don't know if that's, maybe that's only me. But donor kebabs stink, you know what I mean? Unless you cook it correctly, I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below if you know a good donor kebab shop. But, you know, we have like the halal carts over here, the lamb over rice. I think those are fine. You know, I'm, I'm, even though I'm trying to cut back on the trans fats because I'm going to be on TV. You know, I got to look slim and all that for the TV and stuff like that. Please stop, baby. Okay, so those shops that you went to, the things, the, the places that you ate together, what you ate together, right? You have all these classical conditioning ways of reminding you of what you guys used to do, okay? Hey, Merijan Haya, can you stop doing that, please? That sound? Okay, because it's disturbing daddy recording. This, the honking sound. Okay, stop that. Stop that, please. You know exactly what I'm talking about. 
Haya can, Haya can roll around in it, but she just can't make the sound. Okay? Yeah, Haya can drive. That's fine. Daddy duty. So hear me out. Hear me out, right? You have all these months, six months, right? 30 days average, right? For, for a month. Let's just say that. That's 180 days. Six, three, seven, eight, yeah. That's 180 days. Um, 180 days of being with that person, receiving that text from that person, receiving that phone call from that person, right? Speaking to them late nights, eating with them, doing things with them, communicating with them, sharing your feelings with them, someone being in your life for 180 days. Poof, they're gone. You're telling me you're not going to miss them? Of course you're going to miss them. You've had 180 days to develop habits with this person. Habits that include them. Habits that trigger and shoot off endorphins in your mind. Oxytocin. All these types of happy drugs in your brain. These chemicals. Your heart became attached to them. Now that I put it like that, doesn't it make sense to why you're missing them? So don't think for a second, brother, we broke up, brother. Why do I keep missing them, brother? Why do you think you're missing them, bro? Come on. Why are you missing her? Why are you missing him? You guys have been together for 180 days. Now take that idea and multiply it to whatever is your, 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 your number out there, yeah? <clears throat> 180 days of being with someone. That's a long time. So naturally, you've developed feelings for them that are not, hey, sweetheart, get down from there. Thank you. That's very dangerous. Naraz, if you put yourself in danger. Yeah, yeah. You could die from that. Yeah, you could hang up on her behind uh, the car. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, from there is fine. From there is fine. Be careful. Hold on. Okay, yeah, hold on. <laughs> you guys are like SQ. As Q, what is going on? You're like, SQ, man, can you just find a private place to record? No. You see, I want to do, listen, I want to do what I love with who I love. If I have to sacrifice that, this is not going to last long. You feel me? This is not going to last long. Because then I'm trading something. I don't want to trade anything. This is my family. If you can't accept this in the video, then I'm going to somehow get distracted and talk to them and not cut it out. That probably, you know, so you just cut it out. I don't want to cut it out. If you're having trouble with that, then I don't think this channel is for you. But I'm going to do what I love with who I love. Okay? That's the mission. That's the goal. Anyways, getting back to this. There's a reason you're missing them. And I want, to val I want you to validate that feeling that it's okay to miss someone. It's okay to miss someone. But I want you to remember one thing in this whole process of a breakup, okay? Because that's essentially what you're going through right now. I don't want you to go into rebound mode where you feel like you don't know who you are and you discover who you are by dating more people, messing around with more people, because that's how I messed myself up. I was on the, excuse me, I was on the rebound for a long time and I just kept on masking my pains and my hurts and putting band-aids on them by committing more zina, doing more haram, instead of dealing with the haram that I've already done. One thing that's really helped me is to realize is that Allah places people in our lives for good reason and He removes people from our lives for good reason. You might have done something impermissible, haram, or whatever along those lines. But Allah still allowed that person to come into your life. So there must be some type of life lesson that you've learned or perhaps goodness that you've attained from being in that person's company during this time. I hope that's making sense. By the permission of Allah. Okay? Now that the person is gone, think of it as a way for you to extrapolate all of the lessons from them. Take all the lessons from them. Help her down, Mayijan. Thank you. Be careful. Okay, don't do that anymore, okay? Why don't you just sit down over here and drink your juice from your big girl cup. No, only your juice. Daddy, Daddy, I can finish mine. Yeah, that's fine. You have your cookie still. Eat that. No, that's... That's your cookie. That's uh, Doa's cookie. Maybe you were supposed to just extract all the goodness that you got from that. And when you remember this person, make a Doa for them. Ask Allah, hey, sweetheart, you're touching my tripod. Make a Doa for them. 
Every time that you remember this person, make a dua for them. Ask Allah to bless them and forgive them and to guide them and to purify them because the angels will be making that same dua for you. Yes, someone could have done you wrong and I think that could be a separate video that we could talk about but this video is talking about missing your ex and still missing your ex. So the, the, the message, the outcome that I want you to get from this video that it's okay to miss your ex. It's okay. That's the larger result and outcome that I want you to obtain from this video. That it's okay for you to miss your ex. Learn the life lessons that they were put in your life for and then after... But let me ask you a question, sweetheart. If you want to announce that, you know daddy's recording something. So if daddy gets angry at you, what happens then? Um, they I'm doing a video, so stop. She's two and a half. She's turning three next month. Can you blame her? Yeah, you're a good girl. Now put in the stuff in the kitchen. <laughs> you're like, SQ, a third of this video is spent. A third of this video is spent you parenting your children. Oh, <laughs> that's that's the life of it, isn't it? MashaAllah. Yes, beautiful. It's like a teacup. It is like a teacup. Now go, please. Okay. Hey, girls, if this is how you behave while daddy's on camera, I'm not going to let you be in the video. And you guys have been on discipline and punishment. That's why you haven't been in these videos. So if you behave this way again, you're not going to be in my video. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Subhanallah. Isn't this something, huh? Isn't this is this is the life, guys? This is the life that you know. You wonder like what SQ is doing and all these sort of stuff. Well, this is this is the life I'm doing. I'm sitting in a robe. I'm just like I couldn't be bothered to get dressed right now. I haven't shaved my head, so you just. I'm gonna make a video about balding, premature balding too. Tell me in the comment section below if you'd be interested in that. Women and brothers, it's okay. Women have alopecia sometimes. They can you know go bald. <sighs> The outcome of this video is for you to realize that it's okay for you to miss your ex, okay? But I want you to turn that worry into worship. I want you to realize that the moments that you spend thinking about your ex, I want you to replace those moments with du'as for them, which is an act of worship. And then I also want you to make two units of prayer and pray for yourself and ask Allah to soften your heart. Now you might be like, SQ, I've been doing that. I still miss them. This video, remember, isn't a how to get over your ex. It's I'm still missing my ex. I still miss my ex. How to get over your ex could be another video. Drop in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in. Remember, I don't check these views. So I can only tell, I could only rate how much you want that video if you get in the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't know, right? I don't check thumbs ups and I don't check all that stuff. So if you want to know how to get over your ex, let me know. Anyways, you need to understand that you need to pray and turn that worry into worship. Turn that worry around and defeat the shaitan. The shaitan wants you to go in despair mode. Think about that person. You feel bad for yourself. You feel sorry for yourself. But instead, defeat the shaitan. Imagine, imagine every time the shaitan places those ideas in your head that, you know, you become... You're not going to be in the video now. You're on punishment. Go inside. Go inside. Three seconds. Two seconds. And one second. Inside right now, young lady. Right now. Close the door. Just not getting it. Anyways, turn the worry into worship. If the shaitan understood that every time I'm whispering in this person's ear, in their hearts, in their minds, in their breasts, in their chest, that, you know, oh, you're missing this person. Allah doesn't love. This person goes and prays two units of prayer, or at least they do wadu, or they make dua for this person, the shaitan will fall back a little bit. That's what helped me out personally as well, okay? So if you still miss your ex, that's totally normal. Understand that that's a normal process of the grievance. You might not even have closure. So instead of looking for closure and all that sort of stuff, turn this worry into worship. Change this and use this momentum that you have because you have momentum right now from this heartache. And from this heartache, use this as an act of worship. Use this as a way for you to draw closeness and develop a better, stronger link with Allah. But the worst thing that you could possibly do is feel bad for yourself and despair in yourself and feel like, oh, my life is over. Your life is just beginning. And think about this. If Allah brought them into your life, it was Allah who removed them from your life, probably for a very good reason. Because the only way for you to find your true love was for them to be removed from your life.
I hope that makes sense, and I hope you guys benefit and enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed and benefit from this comment, sweetheart, I promise you, you'd be in the video, right? If you benefit, what's your thing? If you benefited and enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure that you watch my other videos as well too. Those videos are on this side right here. Um, Thank you for watching. Um, um, I'm so grateful. Thank you. No, no, no. We'll save that for the end. Well, are you thankful that they watched the video? Mm -hmm. Just tell them thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching my video. And and what do you say when someone says bye? No, bless you. <gasps> See, she's back. She's trying to let her in. Let her in. Let me open it. Okay, go, Mary John. And until next time, I'm out. I'm out. We both are out.